Hello everyone and welcome to Talking Over Tea. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute and easy bookmarks. They're a lot of fun to make and they're really easy to customize. So all you're going to need is some scrap fabrics. I just went through my fabric stash and found some fabric that I liked. And then just some basic sewing supplies like scissors, ruler, pencils, pins, needles, and thread. You can also use a lightweight interfacing if you would like your bookmark to be a little bit stiffer. First I'm just going to show you how to make a basic rectangle bookmark and then I'll show you how to change it a little so you can have a few different options. First, you're going to cut out the front and back of the bookmark. I cut mine 3 inches by 8 inches, and I used a half inch seam allowance, but I kind of found that to be a little bit too thin, so I would at least add another half inch, so do 3 and a half inches, or sew with a smaller seam allowance. Here I made a big mistake because I didn't I I didn't wash my fabric before using it. So when I sprayed my fabric with water to help get the wrinkles out, it really shrunk them. Um, so they are very different sizes, which didn't matter too much, but it was an annoying mistake. And I would recommend either washing your fabric first or not using water when you iron. Then you just pin them right sides together. Then you're going to sew around all the edges, leaving about a two inch gap on one of the long edges so that you can turn it out. Uh, here I just trimmed my seams down, especially since they were different lengths, so they wouldn't be super bulky when uh, I turned it out right side out, and I clipped the corners and then turned it out. Then you just want to iron it so it's nice and crisp. I like to iron the seams so that they are not on the edge first because that flattens them out. And then I kind of roll them back and iron them in place and then that makes them a lot crisper and it doesn't make any overlap when you iron it down. Then just fold over the edges of your opening and iron that down. Then using a matching or contrasting thread, I just top stitched over all the edges just to make it look a little nicer and to also close up the opening. For the second bookmark, you're going to cut again two 8 by 3 inch pieces, uh, but this time we're going to change the shape of one edge. To do that, you can either just draw out kind of like a roof shape, or you can print out the template that is in the description box below and cut that out. To add ribbon to this one, you just measure out how long you want. I made mine about six inches long, but I, I added a little extra just so that I could trim it down when I was done. Then you're gonna fold your ribbon in half and with the right side facing up, layer your ribbon down on the bookmark with the folded edge at the top. Then just pin that to the top, making sure that the ribbon is in the middle. Put the second piece right sides together and pin that and then you're going to sew around the same way you did before just making sure that when you go over the ribbon you back stitch a little bit so that it doesn't slip out when you turn it right side left. Don't forget to leave a gap so that you can turn it out too. Then you can actually use the ribbon to help you turn it out. It makes it a lot easier. You can just pull it. Make sure that you get all the corners nice and sharp, and then we're just going to repeat the same thing, iron it, and top stitch. I also melted the edges of my ribbon so that they wouldn't fray. 
And then for the third bookmark, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Just cut out your pieces. This one I did use interfacing. Mine was a sew-in interfacing, so I just pinned it to the wrong side of one of the pieces before I sewed the bookmark together. You don't have to put interfacing on both pieces. One will make it stiff enough. For the tassel, I cut six strands of yarn. Um, my yarn was really thin, so I did six. Uh, if I had used a thicker yarn, I probably would have just done three. And you're going to do the same thing you did with the ribbon, just pin the yarn to the top edge of your bookmark with it inside. I let mine hang out a little bit on the edge just so I could make sure it stayed where I wanted it to be. Then you just sew the same way. Again, I did the triangular edge and um, you really want to make sure you backstitch over the yarn because it will slip out of the stitches a lot easier than the ribbon. Then I trimmed the inner facing down. I, I didn't cut the fabric down when I was doing this because mine was pretty thick and I didn't want it to make the seams bulky. Then I turned it out, ironed it, and top stitched it just like the others. Then I just braided the yarn, which I had a little trouble with because it was so thin. And tied a knot at the top. and then just cut the yarn down so that it would be a little tassel. And for the last one, this one is definitely the easiest. You're going to take your fabric, and you, this time you're going to lay them wrong sides together. Then you're just going to sew around with a half inch seam allowance, and you don't need to leave any gap. You want to make sure you sew around the whole thing. And then taking pinking shears or any decorative edge scissor, you just cut around the edge. Uh, for this one, I did use flannel. And you can really use any fabric for these bookmarks as long as it's not too bulky. This last one is super easy and I think it looks really pretty with the edge. These bookmarks are so easy and so much fun to make. They make really great gifts and they're really easy to customize and personalize. You can pick out some fun fabrics and ribbons, you could even embroider them or add some lace. You can really just do whatever you want with them. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you try it out I'd love to hear about it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.